you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing a game you may be more familiar with the NES version but it, of course it originated from the arcade it's 1942 and um, this actually also came out for the PlayStation under the Capcom collections I think it was volume 1 it was uh, collected with the 1943 and 19... was it 44 or XX? I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so arcade version, of course, much better than the NES port that we got. This one is smoother. The scrolling, that is. And it's a very hard game in my opinion. It's uh, long and grueling. Can't even imagine someone sitting through the arcade finishing this in like uh, one sitting. I'm sure somebody is able to do that. Uh, Definitely not me. So anyway, as usual, the advantages of loading the arcade ROM instead of the PS1 uh, bin Q file uh, you know it's smaller saves you some space on the on your USB drive if you have a small one especially and um, no loading time I guess But it's essentially the same. Can't get any more arcade perfect than this one. You know, other than having the actual arcade cabinet. But I suppose... Uh, this may look too primitive compared to even just um, you know uh, shoot 'em up games that was released a few years later. So I guess uh, this is for the hardcore fans. Or if you're just curious to see how, you know, games used to be. Uh, with their insane challenges. And, uh, anyway, got unlimited credits. So maybe you can eventually finish this game. Just make sure you hold the fire button there and press start so you can continue where you... I mean the stage where you last died. I suppose if you can't really get past the stage, you can abuse the save states. yeah anyway I think that should be it for this video this is 1942 the arcade by Capcom and this is the like the arcade ROM again not the PS1 ISO from the Capcom collection and you're watching 8-bit days a week 
please do like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.